Okay, so I changed my setup a little bit because I didn't like how the straps were doing the center of the box. So there's these eyes on top. So I ran one here, so I've got a chain here, right? Coming back to this strap, all right? And it's going this way. So now we got, it's on the bottom side, just on the wheels, you know, it's going this way. Here, there's two eyes up top. So this strap goes up. And I'm gonna show you. The strap goes up onto those two eyes, okay? And then back down here. Now, I would've went through them, but I couldn't get my rings right there through the eyes. So I'm gonna have to come up with the, I'm gonna have to make something or buy like some type of carabiner that I can put in those eyes that my straps will go in. Um, and then I did one here. Okay, we have a chain here. All right. And then this is that strap earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and start popping all these. This was an interesting one. Um, I, every toolbox is a little different, you know, and at least for me it is until I've towed them all. And um, I don't know the brand of that one necessarily, but it's a pretty decent size one. And it's one of the ones that have like a flimsy uh, center. So even if you put boards on it, it, it wants to bend in the middle. So just throwing straps over the, over it isn't, to me, didn't seem like a great idea, but what do I know? I'm very, very uh, new at this. I've only been doing this for a couple years, you know, so I still have a lot to learn with all of this. So much to learn, but you know, I don't, when it comes to the work, you know, they, get, they give me a job, I'm gonna do it. Um, if I don't know how to do it, they'll, uh, send someone and they they you know they'll they teach me um the job that i work for the two people that i work for richard and laura taylor the people that own ace record service and Apple, they uh anything i need or want they'll always and have always provided for me no matter what it is if i ask for it i have it um and that's including information and training they have uh They've got me signed up for Wreckmaster. Oh, sorry, y'all. They've got me signed up for Wreckmaster courses. Um, and I, uh, let's see, Podgersville. So I'm going to be taking those. Um, and they're paying for it. They, uh, they do anything I ask them to. So I just, I have to get the time you know it's going to be july it's all scheduled pre-scheduled um but once i do go i'll get like the official i know what i'm doing hey bud good i'll get the official uh i know what i'm doing stamp you know i'll be able to say that i know all the different uh proper ways of doing things you know the right, the right and the correct and the safest ways. Obviously, I want to go home to my family just like y'all do. Just like everybody else. Just because I'm not doing it the way that uh, is the right way or the way that um, they teach you in training doesn't mean that I don't want to do it that way. It just means that maybe I don't know how and I need to learn it. And I'm willing to learn anything. Um, I got... Every day I learn something from one of my subscribers. Today, last night, I had a guy, I can't, man, I can't remember his name right now, but he was, he recommended this awesome degreaser. He said, you got, he said, WD-40 is not where it's at. Soap is not where it's at. And he told me about this degreaser. Um, I can't remember the name of it, something 88, but it's amazing stuff. Long story short, I got online and I ordered some for like six bucks. So like a, like a gallon of it for six dollars. And, uh... I'm going to try it out. I'm willing to try it. anything. I'm not too good to listen to someone who has been doing this for 20 or 30 years and, and swallow my pride and say, hey, uh, this man can teach me more in his sleep than uh, I'll learn in the next 10 years. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Shoot. At all. As a matter of fact, I can't wait until I get to the point to where I'm able to 
pass this knowledge down and teach people. That's a uh, that's probably the, one of the coolest parts about the job, in my opinion, is whenever you can be able to pass this stuff down to people and help them make a living and teach them to uh, a trade that can provide for their family. That's an honor to be able to do that. So, yeah, there's a lot to look forward to. Not to say, you know, you also make a book who's of money doing the job. It's a great paying job. I'm gonna lay it flat and then I'll pop that one. I'm gonna roll this one down. Oops, I'm gonna roll that one down, unhook it, move it out of the way, and then I'll go up and grab the next one. I prefer to do it alone because if something goes south, I would rather be the person that's hurt. I'd feel awful if me making a mistake got somebody else hurt. So, a lot of times I don't... A lot of times I necessarily don't even want people helping because I don't want to hurt nobody. No matter where, no matter what, you know. Pull my cable in. Tighten the cable, and once I tighten the cable, I can take my two chains off. All right, tighten, undo it here. There, I don't want to walk behind it, so I'm gonna walk around the truck. Those are unlocked. Hopefully she goes down straight. Oh, this is so sketchy, man. Never been the biggest fan of toolboxes, but I'd be darned if I'm scared of anything. Nice and slow. No girl. You're going the wrong way with yourself. You need to straighten your life out. We ain't having none of that around here. Straighten it out. Oh, you gonna go back? Okay, you do what you do then. You can't tell a teenager nothing, bro. Come on with the games. Right in the hole too, of course. Of course you're gonna go right in the hole. Man, oh man. Well, all joking aside, she's off the truck. 
shot, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Get my little baby crappy strap. I use these for stuff like this. Not the best strap in the world, but it works for stuff like this. safe spot to put this man's entire career right here. These guys work their tails off. They spend all their extra money on these tools so they can make more money and you gotta take good care of these boxes. This is for Don, okay? Um, you guys, if there's any little things that y'all see that I could do to improve on how I'm doing this, please don't be afraid to comment below. That's that's how I'm gonna become a better tow, tow operator is by listening to the criticism that I get from other other tow operators that's been doing this for longer. I'm not the type of guy that gets all in his feelings when people correct them. I'm going to spin it around. Another happy customer. Thank y'all. You too. I absolutely love this job. I don't know why, but everything about it, I just think everything about this job is the coolest thing in the world. I can't get enough of all the little details about it. And it's been that way ever since I started doing it. And I knew that it was going to be that way. Because I've always wanted to drive a tow truck. I got to get this all straightened out. I got so much more to do today. To, I got another one holding. I'm far away from home too. Alright guys, if you haven't already, smash that like button. Comment down below on any videos you might want to see. and um, Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.